These are chewy. It is chewy. 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 They're difficult to chew through. Hard and chewy. Soft and chewy. Chewy. A real chew. Really chewy. Good morning, afternoon, evening and night. Whoever you are and wherever you are, welcome to today's video. In front of me, I've got 11 my protein protein bars. Uh, and I'm going to do a little bit of a sample. Sample session. Do a sample session. I basically bought as many my protein protein bars, samples, as I could. Um, so multiple different types, multiple different flavours. I'm just going to eat them all. Not in their entirety. That would be an awful lot of calories. It's about 2,400 calories, which would not be a good idea. And about 250 grams of protein, which I don't need. Um, but because I'm just back from the gym, it works out quite well. I'm going to get some protein in me. Probably have about a third of each bar, just give it a proper taste, um, and let you guys um, know what's going on, how they are. I will leave in the description below um, all of the well, what all the bars are, their flavours, and I think I'll be able to put a little part where you can skip to them, so you can see. Um, you can just get straight to whichever bar you're trying to, you know, you're looking for. It's part one, so we've got eleven bars. Part two, we will have. Um, I think we've got yeah, we've got 12 in part two, um, but that's going to be focusing on more on the desserty type protein bars, so like the cookies, the brownies, the flapjacks. The best thing to do is just get into it. Yeah. All right. First up is the lean protein bar. I don't even know if that's in focus. The lean protein bar is white chocolate and raspberry. Ooh. That is like your stereotypical protein bar, just like a, a good slab. This is going to take a while because these are chewy. Oh, right. I'll put all the calories and whatnot up on the screen. I'll tell you what's going on with each one. My white chocolate and raspberry lean protein bar. It was nice. It tasted good. It was just... Oh, my jaw is going to hurt by the end of this. You know, it was tasty. I would have it again. I mean, I'm going to have to. I'm only eating a third of it now. <laughs> if you're looking for something a bit lighter, it's the lightest of the options. It's 150 calories. It's a good shout. And, you know, it wasn't too difficult to eat. I know some of these are going to get really chewy. Next up, we've got the Protein Light Bar. Now, I've had had one of these before. I've got three different flavours. We have got chocolate, lemon cheesecake and caramel peanut. Caramel. Caramel peanut. Um, so what I'm going to do, they're all the same calories somewhere. I'll put it up somewhere. They're all the same calories. They're all the same amount of protein in each one. It's about 200 calories and 20 grams of protein. Um, my protein, if you can see that, but Sort yourself out. This is going to be a real chew because I can barely get the knife through it. You could not speed eat these. Oh god. But the way it was delivered, all just thrown in a box. Some of these look majorly crushed. Chewy. Oh, that was the worst one yet. Lemon cheesecake. The knife is struggling to get through these. Protein light bar. My property is dense. Oh my goodness. I've had a third of three, so I've effectively eaten a whole one. It's good maths. Eating a whole one of them is a challenge. If you've gone to the gym and you're on your way home and you want to grab something quick and you take one of these, you then get a second workout just for your face. I'm not joking. <laughs> They're not easy to get through. Flavour-wise, chocolate was nice, but 
when you eat it, it kind of goes a bit crumbly in your mouth and a bit dry. It's not the most pleasant experience. Lemon cheesecake, unfortunately, did not taste nice at all. The calories and the protein that's in there, the flavour was not worth it. The caramel peanut, again, same with the chocolate. You know, it, it crumbles and breaks up in your mouth a little bit, which isn't terribly pleasant. But its flavour was pretty mild, so if you're not looking for anything too strong, it's a, it's a safe bet. Next, the carb crusher bars. Now, if you can tell what's a favourite amongst my protein supplements, it's got to be the one that's got its own individual sample selection box. So these, I think I've had one or two of these before. Um, I know that they're all right, they're quite nice. They have 20 different vitamins and minerals in them, as well as, you know, uh, 21 grams of protein and 212 calories per bar. Um, I've got here caramel nut, dark chocolate and sea salt, and strawberry cheesecake to try. I mean, I do have to commend them, the packaging is rather nice. And, these ones, because they came in a box, aren't smushed, which is also lovely. I'm going to go with um, dark chocolate sea salt, um, strawberry cheesecake and then caramel nut. See that? That actually looks like a chocolate bar. Smells good as well. Ooh. Man, you've got more to it than just a, a dense slab. Let's see. You know what? I'm looking forward to these. It's nice, flavour wise, nice, but if you don't like, if you're not a massive fan of dark chocolate, it's quite an artificial dark chocolate, which can be a bit not putting, but also the um, the sea salt in there's a little bit sharp, if that makes sense. Oh, can you see that? From the cheesecake was nice, a bit bland, kind of more of a taste of cheesecake than strawberry. It's never the order you want it in. Alright, there were the Carb Crusher bars. Very nice. Tastes like... You know, you, you feel like you're eating a chocolate bar, in a way. Um, obviously you've still got that... chewiness of a, of, a, of a protein bar, but you know, it's nice. You've got, you've got different elements in there. You know, a bit of crunch. Huh. And especially... The fact that you're getting a decent amount of protein, but you're also getting 20, um, 20 vitamins and minerals, which you don't see an awful lot of in protein bars. So that's a really nice addition. And good effort. I've got two elite bars. I've got the toffee vanilla and the caramel hazelnut. I'll probably go with the caramel hazelnut first. These ones are all heavier as well. So, you know, they've got more protein in, but then they're also... There's also more bar, obviously. It's not appealing to look at, and it doesn't smell very nice. In these bars, there's, there's 26 grams of protein and 240 calories. That elite bar, the caramel and hazelnut, it was actually rather nice. It was, I was a bit sceptical, because it was really soft. But, oh, Cakey. And you know what? I like cake. Who doesn't like cake? If you don't like cake, leave. Off you go. Not welcome there. I'm joking. Obviously. Please like and subscribe. I must say, those protein bar elites, they were surprisingly good. Um, I don't know if it's intentional, but the top is softer than the bottom, meaning that when you sink your teeth into it, it's actually really nice, and you get this almost cakiness to it, relatively easy to eat, seeing as it's a heavier and, you know, higher protein bar. Downside was the flavours weren't amazing, it kind of tasted very similar, you didn't get an awful lot of um, a pop from the flavour. Are you going to find a perfect protein bar? Oh, I'm enjoying this. I'm learning, I'm learning. 
Next up, I've got the All One Perform Bar. It's got 28 grams of protein. It's about 260 calories. It's got it's got creatine in and it's got glutamine in. So you know, it's it is an All One Perform Bar, pretty much. It's exactly what it says on the packet. Um, and it's chocolate orange flavored, which is a dream for me. Oh, it smells like a Jaffa cake. That was nice. That is probably, that bar would probably be the most satisfying out of the ones I've had so far. I like chocolate orange and it's a good chocolate flavour. Um, it's soft and chewy. Not like the um, other protein light bars. Not like the protein light bars, they were like hard and chewy and really tough to get through. That's soft and chewy. You know, you felt like you were getting a decent amount and I only had a third of it. Lastly, we've got the high protein bar. Still in the old my protein packaging. You don't see that a lot. Um, I don't know why that's worth a comment. This is the vanilla and honeycomb. It's got 30 grams of protein, 263 calories. Um, I'm feeling a bit full now. By the time I've finished eating all of this, I'll have had 800 calories worth of protein bars. I don't really know what my face looks like. I have chocolate all over it. The high protein bar, it was nice. Again, no, it's not got an amazing flavour. Um, but it was like it was sweet and it was nice and it was similar to the it was similar to the all one perform bar. It's actually a little bit hard to focus. Like those protein bars are just sitting in my stomach. <laughs> Pretty much all of them say overconsumption results in a laxative effect. Now I've probably eaten the equivalent of about four in in one sitting. But seeing as the first thing I've eaten today, and that's just straight up 85 grams of protein. Get protein bars if you want them. You know, they are pretty helpful. They're good if you like, you know, if you want a chocolate bar, you got chocolate cravings, a protein bar. It's been a little while since I ate those protein bars. I want to say, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend eating so many. My stomach's feeling a little bit heavy. Uh, eat too many and you're going to have an upset stomach. Cause it's an awful lot of protein to eat in one go. Um, and seeing as most of them have uh, certain elements in to make them sweet, but also induce a laxative effect, that's going to upset your stomach. The light protein bars, um, unless you want to break your jaw, and enjoy dryness. Stay away from them. Uh, I probably, I probably averaged them at about three out of ten. The lean one was really nice. Um, was easy to eat. Had a really nice flavour. Probably the best flavour out of all of them. The white chocolate and raspberry one. The best like alternative to a chocolate bar. I'll probably say the carb crusher. It's just, it's, it's. It's it's good. It's just it's plain and simply good. You've got a bit of a chew, a bit of a crunch. You've got vitamins and minerals. It's not too calorific. Um, you get a decent amount of protein in each one. So probably say that's the best in terms of you know a little bit of everything. Um, I also really really liked. If you're looking for more of an actual supplement, the um, the all-in-one got a good amount of protein going on in there, but you also have the creatine and the glutamine going on, and you know it filled me up, which was also which was which was nice for a protein bar to do, um, but it was also it was also really tasty and easy to eat. The elite bars were good, but the flavour wasn't amazing. The high protein bar was kind of like the elite ones, but not as well executed. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Summary done. I just feel drained now.
I don't understand how the YouTubers do it. Again, I like seven videos a day. It's draining. I'm lying down now because I've eaten some protein bars and filmed for an hour. Right. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Which will probably be part two. The uh, I think that'll be a more fun one to do. The cookies, the protein brownies, and wafers, and that sort of stuff. That's the most interesting ones. Um, yeah, check out the description below for my overview and whatnot. Comment, like, subscribe. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.